When you are doing math problems, you will often come across the words round, estimate, and about. These words tell you that they don't need an exact answer, but something close that is easy to use. Today, I'm going to show you a very simple way to round using a poem. First, let's learn the poem. Here it is. Find your place, look next door, five or greater, add one more. All digits in front stay the same. All digits behind zeros your name. Now, repeat after me. Find your place, look next door, five or greater, add one more. All digits in front stay the same. All digits behind zeros your name. One more time, let's read it together. Find your place, look next door, five or greater, add one more. All digits in front stay the same. All digits behind zeros your name. Great job! Now that you know the poem, let's practice. Let's round 587 to the tens place. The poem tells us just what to do, so let's use it. Find your place. Okay, so what digit is in the tens place? Eight is correct. Circle it. Look next door. We always look to the right, so which digit is just to the right of the circled number? Seven, good job. Draw an arrow to it. Five or greater? Is the seven greater than five? Yes, so we need to add one more to the circled number. What is one plus eight? Nine, fantastic. Write it just below the eight. Remember, if the digit to the right is less than five, you just rewrite the circled number underneath. Okay, next step. All digits in front stay the same. Let's look, are there any digits in front of the circled number? Yes, just drop them down. We're almost through, just one more line. All digits behind, zero is your name. Turn every digit behind the circle into a zero. That's it, you're through. It's so easy when you know the poem. That's all for today. Happy rounding!